Hello and welcome back to my channel guys. Preemptive apologies if you hear a lot of noise in the background. There's construction in the alleyway next to our house. But you know what? Your girl's gonna work and I need to film some content so you're probably gonna hear a lot of noises in the background of this video. Preemptive apologies but let's just move on. That does not affect what we're actually gonna talk about today. So today I wanna to talk about something that you can obviously see right now, the literal Celine Duke cardigan. Okay, this is not the Celine cardigan. I wish in my dreams, you guys know I've tried. I went in, I tried it on, I looked for my size, they didn't have it. Also, I'm not really ready to be dropping $5,000. That's like kind of like after tax. I think it's like 36 something. It's like, comes out to almost like 4,000-ish. So like, okay, not $5,000, I exaggerated, but like, I'm not ready to drop that much money on a cardigan yet. Like, I don't think I'm there. I just got my Max Mara coat and that is literally a coat you can wear almost over like everything and I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of it. Whereas the cardigan, it's a little more occasion dressing. It's not like a frequent piece, so I wasn't ready yet. But if I don't get my Hermes quarter bag offer when I'm in Paris in May, then I may pick up some ready to wear from Celine instead. That's the alternative. So I will acquire it eventually, I think. But in the meantime, if you guys saw one of my previous videos, I reviewed because I found a Massimo Duty, the black version of this. And I know you're thinking right now, like, okay, this is black and white thick. Like, what are you talking about? The other cardigan was mainly black with thin white stripes. It also had like a black border. I'm just going to take it off so you can see a little bit better. So very fast recap on the other cardigan. It had a black piping and border all going up and down the middle of the cardigan and the arms and the arms and the collar here and then the buttons were not attachable it just had like a single hook closure at the top and then going down the front it was just faux buttons I don't know why in the photos online it looked like it had closures going all the way down the front but then when I inspected the hell out of my cardigan which I did there were none so it literally was just buttoned up at the top and that was it this one I actually realized came out a few weeks after that black one and I snatched it up so fast so first of all two things that I did because you guys know I regretted from the previous one only getting the extra small and not getting the small size so I could try in both sizes and to see which one was a better fit. I was very smart with this one and I would like to say at least I ended up getting both the extra small and the small. So I'm currently wearing it as you can see which means I have made a decision as to which one I want to keep and I went ahead with the extra small. So my fears with the small size were realized when I tried it on more or less the front. The width across the chest was just way too wide and it looked really baggy and it started to fold strangely on the side here and I did not like it so I just Turn that instantly. Granted, the arms and the extra small are still a little bit too short. They end up my wrists like here. You'll see in the cutaway what it looks like on me. And I didn't love that per se as the cardigan and the overall look, but I loved it less than the width of the small, if that makes sense. Like I think the width of the small bugs me more than the length of the arms on the extra small. I have zero plans to wear this cardigan as an exterior overcoat on a chilly day. So it's not gonna bother me if my wrists get cold because I don't think that's gonna be a problem anyway. Anyways, the cardigan itself is actually very thick. It's not heavy heavy, but it has some weight to it. So it does keep you quite warm. I've already worn it out a few times and it's quite, it insulates heat very well. Let's just put it at that. I wouldn't wear it outside as the only jacket right now in this weather since we're still kind of like in the midst of like a winter spring in Canada, but it's warm enough to wear as an overcoat in early spring and definitely way too hot to wear in the summertime. So because of the wrist, I wanted a more fitted look and I think the shortened sleeves is kind of part of that fit anyways, and I'm not too, I'm not too bummed out about it. I ended up actually returning the black cardigan just because I was like, oh, like, I don't know if I truly love it. I was hemming and hawing about the size. And then once I returned it, I never found the small back in my size. And I figured that that was a sign that like, maybe you just were not meant to own this. And maybe you are meant to find the Celine one when you were in Paris. But then this one popped up literally weeks after I returned the black one. I was like, what is the universe doing to me? So yes, I, of course, I immediately went and ordered it. I did some thinking and I think I rationalized to myself. I don't know if spending that much on a cardigan at this point in my life makes sense to me. I would much rather be spending that kind of money on outer jackets, such as, I don't know, my Max Mara coat. I would love to add like a black one to that mix. I found a beautiful one from Saint Laurent, the oversized wool coats that I really, really love. That's like $7,000. So we'll We'll see if maybe I can locate one in Paris when I'm there because I looked at the price difference and it's like 5,000 euros there instead of like 7 thousand Canadian pre-tax. I would rather get like a bag or spend the money and get a couple of pair of shoes that I can wear all the time. I don't think occasional wear dressing and ready to wear designer prices are really where I'm comfortable with spending my money yet. I know I have like the financial freedom to do it, but definitely not in that realm. And there's other things I'd rather be spending my money on such as our 
future home. So I figured let's just go ahead with it. This is more of a new look and style that I'm venturing into right now. My current style evolution era, whatever you want to call this, like the very coastal grandma classic outfit vibes. My biggest regret would be if I bought that sweater and down the road, I just didn't want it anymore. I know it's a classic piece and I probably will love it for years to come, but it's just that fear that like, I don't know if I'm going to really like it that much that I want to keep it around. And plus, because I can acquire something that's so similar, I think it's best if I did it now, see if I like this style and maybe down the road, maybe I can find a vintage piece from Celine if I really, really change my mind and I want it. All that said and done, I ended up purchasing and keeping the extra small. If you have been thinking about getting this sweater, cardigan or whatever this is, and really love this lean one, I would say this is a phenomenal dupe. It is still quite expensive in the realm of fast fashion and more affordable clothes. It's $200. It's $199 Canadian pre-tax. It comes up to almost like $226. Like it's still not like cheap, cheap. Like you're not going to find the pricing of like Forever 21 when it comes to Massimo Duty. They're on the higher end of like the Inditex scale when it comes to the brands that they manage under that label. However, because of the higher price tag, I also do expect a much higher quality of craftsmanship when it comes to putting together the clothes. I can notice it first of all already with the material. This is a significantly thicker and heavier knit. All of the stitches are done really well and it feels seamless. It's very smooth and it has like a nice weight to it. It's not like that scratchy, very plasticky type of knit material that you can sometimes get from Forever 21. You guys know exactly the type of material I'm talking about. This is very well put together. There are some flaws that I noticed here and there, like such as the bottom here has like a stitch loose, which I'm pretty sure with my own personal expertise, I can just use a crochet needle and like hook it back into place. All the finishes on the inside are like relatively clean when it comes to stitching. I'm pretty sure this was all machine stitched together. It has very, very thick seams here. There are some interesting loose work stitching when it comes to this, which is where the button on the back, I don't love this button. I didn't realize it was going to come with this. And this is also not detachable. It's sewn directly onto here. So you can't adjust it, but it's a cute little personal touch. It doesn't bother me that much, especially since it's in the back and I don't really see it, but this is stitched to the inside here. And with most knit work, it's kind of hard to conceal stitches just because you have open and really, really big stitches as opposed to material where you can like sew it in really smooth and conceal it. So that doesn't bug me that much. If you guys are interested in the material composition of this cardigan, it is 78% cotton and 22% polyamide. So there's a little bit of plastic in here, but the majority of this is natural fibers. And I prefer that because then it's going to be more breathable, especially in the springtime as the weather warms up a little bit. Since I mentioned that it is a slightly heavier fabric that does insulate quite well, I do feel like you want something that is going to allow you to really like aerate yourself and let the air circulate inside when you're wearing it. So you're not sweating up a storm. It is a knit, so you probably will get some wind blowing in through the open stitches on like a much windier day. But for the most part, this is actually a really, really warm cardigan. So that's essentially the point of this video. I just wanted to update you guys and let you know that I swapped out the black one and got a white one instead. It fits really well. I like it. The functionality of the buttons are way better than the black. So if you're not sure between the black or the white one, which one you prefer, I think this one is definitely a lot better and closer to the Celine look that you're looking for with amazing functionality because you can button it all the way up and give yourself lots of warmth as opposed to just buttoning up at the top here and kind of leaving your cardigan to flap open into the wind. I also noticed recently that there is a third option on their site. It is a red and white one. I'm not really a red gal. It looks very nautical. So if you would love to get a cardigan that you can kind of just like pack with you on your spring and summer trips. Um, if you're a yacht girly, definitely not me. I'm not in that realm, but we can manifest and fingers crossed one day. I think that'd be a great addition to your wardrobe for the summertime, especially with the warmer weathers coming up soon. I would love to one day have a yacht and to be able to live on there with my beautiful Celine jacket. I don't think the Celine one comes in a red though, but if you are much more of a vibrant person and less of like a classic neutrals, then maybe go for the red one. One thing that I did end up noticing after I wore this jacket quite a bit and I was styling it with my clothes, the white against the black is much creamier than I expected. Like it's a very, very warm white. So you're not going to be able to wear a lot of like pristine white clothes with it. If you have cream colors, then it might blend a little bit better. In my head, I had thought that it would work well with my Pico 10 and this is in the color Nata. Nata is known to be a slightly warmer white when it comes to like the realms of white, such as like Cray and Nata and a couple of other ones I can't remember off the top of my head right now. So I thought that this was really warm as it was already. When I paired it together with this cardigan, this actually looks very crispy white compared to this one. I don't know if you guys can tell in the video, but the shades side by side look very, very different. And this is insanely warm. So that's just something to note if you have a lot of cool white tones in your wardrobe when you're looking at this one. But yes, it's, it's a lot warmer than I intended and I'm okay with it. I can work around it. I don't have any issues styling 
with it since I typically do prefer warmer tones when it comes to my wardrobe. I believe at the moment all the sizes online are sold out. I will link it down below though and you can definitely sign up to get notified for when your size comes back in stock. That's how I did it the first time. When I first found the cardigan online my size was completely sold out. I just signed up with my email and I woke up one morning and it literally was in my inbox sitting there saying an item that you're interested in is back in stock. And I was just sitting on my phone instantly ordered the two pieces and in the blur haze of me doing that first thing in the morning I didn't realize guys you're gonna think I'm stupid for this you can get free shipping in Massimo Duty if you spend a certain amount which is great which is what you want in my freaking haze of ordering this I paid for premium shipping express shipping 1095 tell me why did I do this when there's a free shipping option so if I had thought that I was gonna return this to be able to get the Celine one in Paris I decided and I just told myself at that point I was like you paid for the shipping Vic you might as well just keep it because at this point even if you ship it back you just lost eleven dollars right there keep keep the stupid sweater I know you're gonna end up spending the cost of the sweater anyways but it's a sweater in the grand scheme of things I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of this it's gonna be the perfect classic piece to wear for springtime as my spring uniform it is what it is but yeah I just want to share that with you guys I hope this helps for anybody who's also on a hunt for kind of like a Celine dupe jacket and doesn't feel comfortable spending four thousand dollars because I know I'm not if anybody wants to magic that my way I will gladly accept it but in the meantime this will do and I'm very very happy with this piece of course I will link all of the pieces that I mentioned down below such as this one the black one and the red one so you guys can find it for yourself if you're interested and if I do find some other ones that are similar to this I'll be sure to add the links to that as well let me know what you guys think of this and if you have already acquired it for yourself and your thoughts on like the overall fit if you have a preferred color or if you found a very similar cardigan from somewhere else for a much more affordable price I would love to share that with everyone else on here I hope you guys enjoyed my video today and of course if you want to see more of me you guys know where to find me on Instagram and TikTok where I post a little bit more frequently than YouTube. And if you guys are not subscribed in here already, make sure you are. That way you get notified every single time I release a brand new video. I am considering adjusting my schedule times. I'm not too sure. Let me know what you guys think. We're currently doing Thursday 7 p.m. EST. And if you would like, I'd be more than happy to kind of like change them because I feel like some of the audience behaviors I've been noticing on my back end analytics are shifting more towards like a weekend watch behavior. So if you're missing a lot of my videos and you'd prefer to have it pop up in your subscription box on the weekend, let me know. I can switch back to like a Sunday kind of time slot that suits better for you guys but in the meantime i hope you guys are having a phenomenal day i will see you in the next video love you guys bye